But do you know how alcohol and other drugs affects our bodies and our ability to drive? It's because the alcohol gets into our blood and affects our judgment. Definitely. It also affects our vision and reaction time, right? I mean, once you have alcohol in your system, you begin to lose concentration and your reflexes become slower. Exactly. The addition of alcohol and other drugs into your bloodstream makes it more difficult to react appropriately when driving. You lose depth perception, so you don't brake as early as you should, and your vision becomes blurred, making it more difficult to follow the road and react to other vehicles around you. I arranged a little experiment to show you guys how alcohol can affect your reaction time, mental acuity, coordination, judgment, and perception. Watch this. I'm here with Jamie, who will be undergoing a series of tests that will measure his physical and mental well-being as he consumes alcohol. The purpose of this experiment is to determine what type of difference exists between his actual abilities and his perception of his abilities. Jamie's going to complete the first series of tests while completely sober. First, I'm going to drop this ball and see how quickly Jamie reacts. As soon as I release the ball, Jamie is going to hit the bell. This will test his reaction time. Watch the slow motion replay as we put Jamie's reaction time on screen. The clock starts once the ball leaves my hand and stops as soon as Jamie's hand makes contact with the bell. This next exercise will test Jamie's coordination. We're simply observing how difficult it is for Jamie to cross the balance beam. It seems pretty easy right now. Next, we'll test Jamie's mental acuity by timing him as he completes a maze. We're keeping the time hidden from Jamie, but you can see it on the screen. He's going to repeat these tests multiple times. However, Jamie, who's of legal age at 27, is going to consume a bottle of beer before the next test. Now, 15 minutes after his first beer, I'll give him a breathalyzer test to determine his blood alcohol concentration. Once we get a reading, look for it on the screen. I'm going to drop the ball from the same spot, and when Jamie sees it drop, he'll hit the bell. Again, watch the slow motion replay and watch for his reaction time on screen. We'll record the amount of time it takes Jamie to complete a maze of the same difficulty as the previous maze. Let's keep going. We'll put the results on the screen so you can observe any differences. However, you're going to have to watch closely to notice any difference in Jamie's coordination on the balance beam. So how do you feel now? I feel fine. I don't really feel any ill effects of the alcohol at this point. After three beers, do you feel like you're doing any better, worse, or performing consistently on these tests? I feel like I'm still doing pretty much the same as how I was doing before. 
my reaction time feels about the same, and um, I think, feel like I nailed that last maze, so I feel like I'm pretty much about the same. Do you feel any different after four beers? Do you think you could drive a car? I do feel a little different now after four beers. I feel like the alcohol is having some kind of effect on me, um, maybe slowing my reaction time a bit. However, um, I still definitely think I'm within the legal limit and could drive a car. Five beers later, what are your thoughts? When I see the five empty beers here, I have to think that um, I'm suffering some ill effects from the alcohol. However, after doing the tests, I don't really feel like, you know, I'm getting that much slower. For instance, the reaction time test, I feel like I'm still doing, you know, pretty well on that. Um, knocking through the mazes. Um, I feel like I'm not having very much trouble on the, the balance beam, so um, while I you know, know that I've had the five beers, um, I still feel like I'm, you know, okay. Um, I might be near the legal limit, but I, I still think I'm okay to drive. So you finished an entire six pack of beer. Honestly, how do you feel about your reaction time and your ability to drive a car? Well, as far as my reaction time goes, I feel like I've been consistent on uh, the bell test. Um, I haven't felt that I've gotten any slower with that. Um, some of the other tests, like the balance beam, there's a little waver in there, and on the maze, I felt they've all been pretty easy throughout. Um, so based upon that, uh, I still think I can drive a car without too much difficulty. Um, I'm probably near uh, the legal limit, but I still think I can drive a car. Well, your blood alcohol concentration passed the legal limit after your fifth beer, and your reaction time was negatively impacted. You definitely showed more hesitation when crossing the balance beam, and you were looking a little shaky at the end. Overall, your performance on the mazes suffered with more alcohol in your system. First of all, it only takes a split second of a difference to go from safely stopping to colliding with someone. Second, Jamie's older and his tolerance is greater than yours. Two beers would affect you differently than they do Jamie. Finally, and most importantly, with zero tolerance laws, it doesn't matter whether you've only had a sip of alcohol or a couple beers. Any trace of alcohol gets you in major trouble and you'll be sitting at home with your parents on Friday and Saturday nights. Now that was only one person, and alcohol does affect everyone differently, but the outcome is always negative. Do you guys have any initial thoughts? 
Well, I thought it was interesting how he kept saying he felt fine, but his blood alcohol concentration kept rising. Yeah, and his reaction time was clearly getting worse with each beer. How couldn't he notice that? Well, I guess that goes along with what we mentioned earlier about judgment. He was probably incapable of knowing exactly what the beer was doing to him. You're all right. Not only was the alcohol affecting his reaction time, coordination, and mental acuity, but it was minimizing his ability to assess the situation clearly. Maybe that's why so many people drive drunk. They don't necessarily believe it's okay to drive drunk, but they lose the ability to make the right decisions, which leads to more drinks and eventually getting behind the wheel. That's a big part of it, Adam. So while you're sober and able to make good decisions, just don't drink at all. And if you see a friend drinking, do whatever you can to make sure they don't get in the driver's seat. Save yourself the embarrassment, the money, and possibly even your life and the life of others. Wait until you're at least 21 to drink and never get behind the wheel after doing so, regardless of your age.